Hi, my name is Andrea and I am a naturalist and educator at Seaver Sindel's Nature Center in addition to being the citizen science coordinator for Forest Preserves of Winnebago County and Seaver Sindel's Nature Center. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the bats of Winnebago County, at least the bats that we suspect live here. If you're interested in learning more about these bats, you can encounter them in our citizen science programs. With just a little bit of training, you'll be able to get out and help us collect valuable information on these wonderful creatures. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. The big brown bat is a fairly common resident of Winnebago County and as its name suggests, it's rather large. It ranges from four to five inches long. We suspect that these bats overwinter in Winnebago County, which suggests that they're not migratory. We know that they live in forests and they'll forage there as well. And we suspect that they roost in caves, tree cavities, and buildings. The Eastern Red Bat is another common resident of Winnebago County. It is a larger bat, usually around four inches long. These bats are strongly migratory and they live in a wide variety of habitats. We know that they spend their summers in the Great Plains and Great Lakes regions, but they'll migrate to southeastern U.S. and Mexico, especially along the coastal regions in the winter. The gray bat is a pretty rare resident of Winnebago County. In fact, it's listed as vulnerable by the IUCN and it's endangered in many areas. This bat is weakly migratory and we suspect that it roosts in limestone caves year-round. This three to four inch long bat will forage over lakes and rivers. The hoary bat is our largest bat in Winnebago County. It ranges from five to six inches long, and it's pretty common. This bat is found all across America, and we found it in every state but Alaska, although we suspect it's there too. These bats are also very migratory. They'll spend their summers all across the U.S., but they'll winter in the southeast U.S. and Mexico, especially in coastal areas. The Indiana bat is incredibly rare. In fact, it's listed as endangered. It's about one to two inches long, and it winters in limestone caves and mines. It spends its summers foraging in woods near rivers and streams, and then migrates a short distance to its winter hibernacula, which again are limestone caves and mines. The little brown bat is another rare bat. In fact, we don't think we've documented it in Winnebago County yet, although there is a chance it could be here and possibly citizen scientists like you might document it. So for that reason, it's included in this video. This bat is three to four inches long. This bat is weakly migratory, which means it spends its summers roosting in hardwood forests, foraging over lakes and rivers, and then it spends its winters hibernating in caves and mines, so it'll migrate between those two locations. The little brown bat used to be one of the most common bats in the United States, but unfortunately it's faced quite a few perils between the white-nosed bat syndrome, which is the fungus that affects bats, to habitat loss, we've seen a steep decline in little brown bat populations. From 2006 to 2011, we saw over a million little brown bats die due to the white nose bat syndrome. A paper published in 2010 predicted a 99% chance of local extinction for these little brown bats by the year 2026. We predict that before the white nose bat syndrome, there were 6.5 million little brown bats in the US. Now those numbers are down to something around 65,000, which is less than 1% of their original population. The silver bat is a common resident of Winnebago County, and we have documented it here before. It ranges from three and a half to four and a half inches long. These bats don't migrate much. In fact, we suspect that they overwinter in Winnebago County. We know they live in forests and like to forage over water and that they'll roost in tree crevices. The tricolored bat is oh so cute and awfully small. They range from 2.9 to 3.5 inches long and they weigh as little as two pennies. These bats are fairly rare. They're considered to be vulnerable and there's a petition to put them on the endangered species list. 
These bats spend their summers on forest edges and migrate an average of 30 miles to their winter hibernacula. The evening bats have been documented in Winnebago County and they're a fairly common resident. They are around three and a half inches long and they spend their summers on forest edges, riparian zones, and pine forests. Although we don't know much about where they hibernate, we suspect that they're at least weekly migratory, but we haven't found many of their hibernacula yet. Again, that's a place where citizen scientists like you could help us gain more information about these wonderful bats. Thank you so much for watching this video about bats of Winnebago County. I hope that you love these bats even more after learning a little bit about them and feel inspired to get out and monitor them through our citizen science projects. Please continue watching videos in this playlist and learning more. I would love to work with you soon and get you ready to monitor bats.